Hey there, welcome to the 12th edition of the three minute reviews for Dave on Bass's YouTube page. I'm Dave on Bass, glad to see you're here. And uh, today we have a classic bass Music Man, five string, Stingray. I bought it new in 2009, it was my main bass for a long time. And you know, these are just fantastic basses. So, um, Black with maple. I have a lot of black with maple basses there. It's my favorite combination. Um, the Music Man 5 has a string spacing that's a little closer together than a lot of other fives. It's 17 and a half inches at the bridge. This is why the three minute review goes a little more than three minutes, by the way. I talk about the bass a little bit. Once I start playing, I'll hit the little kitchen timer and give myself three minutes from that point to the end. And that, you can skip right to it on any of these reviews. It's in the, the description of the video where, you know, you can skip all the talking and just go right to the review where I just go through the fundamentals, um, playing the bass in its different configurations, usually just finger style and slap. Today I might do pick as well. Um, just because a lot of punk bands use this bass. And uh, it was a punk band that got me interested in it in the first place. So the reason I bought this, Billy Talent 3 was it released right around the time I bought mine and I loved the bass tone on that album. And I think he plays with a pick, but it, the album rocks totally. If you're not familiar with it, check it out. And I'm pretty sure the bass player uses uh, a music band. I don't know if it's a five string or not but uh, Stingray. So um, all that being said, there's a lot to this bass, so let's get going and uh, I'm gonna hit the button and go. There we go. So on this bass, the, the controls are volume, treble, mid, bass, and a three selector switch. And so way up in the neck position, it's series, that single coil in the middle and parallel way over on the end, the bridge end. The parallel setting is where most punk bands use, and that's what I used when I was playing it full time. But I'm gonna do all three just flat finger style first. So I'm starting with series. <laughs> which is uh, single coil. Really thin there. And then uh, parallel. So normally I wouldn't play it just flat like that. I would add um, a little bass. And a lot of times I turn the treble all the way up. I don't usually mess with the mids too much. If I have time, I'll do that later. But uh, this is a little bit of bass, treble all the way up, and I'm going backwards here. So I'm starting with uh, parallel. <laughs> and then finger style. And then if I go single coil. Finger style. And series. different tones here. I'm going to try one other thing quick. I'm going to turn the treble to the mid. I'm going to turn the mid all the way up and then leave the bass up a little bit and just do a, see if I can get a little bit more of a kind of a Jocko sound out of it. That's on parallel. This is on single coil. And then C. 
series. Well, I got them all in anyway, uh, even if they weren't very long. Uh, these are fantastic basses. It took me a while to get one. Uh, it really was that album that made me decide to get one, even though the string spacing always felt weird to me until I actually got it, because it was a little tight compared to the most of my five strings, which I think are 19 millimeter at the bridge, this is 17 and a half. But man, great basses, great ro road warriors. I use this bass for hundreds of gigs, beat the heck out of it, and it just never stopped going. Just like Fenders, Music Man, they're, they're all great basses to use for gigs. And that's it for today.